Howdy neighbors, welcome back to the woodshed. This is Woodworking Gamer bringing you more keyboard smashing video fun. Back to another Darkheim playthrough. We're in a modded Valheim world where monsters are powered up from 2 to 5 stars, and weapons and armor have crazy enchantments. You can find info on the Darkheim mod pack in the description below. Time to choose our fate. In our last adventure, we started construction on our brand new woodshed. We built up a secure perimeter and framed out the main house. Now it's time to do a little interior decorating. And what does every adventurer need, you ask? Storage. Lots and lots of storage. Especially in Darkheim, where the loot and material drops are multiplied based on the star level of the creatures. Oh, those pesky five-star creatures. Since we don't have any iron yet, We'll start by building our storage with basic chests. Now we could just arrange them side by side and I'd be able to fit many more chests, but this added framing provides just a little more polish for that finished look. Besides, my OCD forces me to put things in nice neat rows, so why fight it? In the future, this will also allow me to add more storage if needed as well as help me keep everything organized in tiny little rows and columns. Think of all the amazing armor and weapons we could hoard in this storage wall, not to mention the crafting materials. Plus, it'll be much easier to label all the items with signs. Tell me in the comments section below how you like to arrange your storage. Maybe I can feature your ideas on a future video just have to fit a few more in there and we are good all right now just need to cap it off for a slick clean look let's jump up here real quick and add a topper Something doesn't look right. Oops. Just a few crooked ones. Perfect. Now that is finished, let's slip outside and set up a furnace so we can start smelting all that iron we'll get from the crypts in the swamps. Just need to place it a bit out of the way. Very nice. And fill her up. And off to the kitchen. Just a few bonfires to help build that cook station. I think we'll put them back here. Fires need to be placed on the ground or on stone blocks. I'm thinking on the right we'll make some storage and on the left we'll put our fermenter. So let's just put down three fires back here for now. We'll come back later to finish. Looks good. Off to battle. Need more resources and just itching for a fight. Gotta do more than just build. So this five star draugr looks like a challenge. Show me what you got. Let's draw him out of the swamp a little bit. That should be good. And a quick block, and then rush in. Okay, he hits hard. Maybe too hard. And another one bites the dust. And another one bites the dust. Onto that naked Viking life. Perfect. 
back to the scene of the crime. And surprise, surprise, he's still here. Uh, let's kite him around the tree a bit so I can get my gear back. I can't get my armor, so maybe we'll... Maybe we'll just finish him off. Or not. Always that possible crit hit through the shield. No joy. And once again, into the fold. Go to the first body, just for the death run in basic armor. Now, quick recovery, all my stuff. Need to eat. Let's drop this creep. Gotta draw him out and hit him on the parry. You are finished. So many materials. Another one. Let's show this one who's the Vi King. Just play it smooth. Got him now. Hey, no one invited you, Mr. Bone Jangles. Sorry for the interruption. Back to our duel. You shall not pass. Boom. Stupid Grey Dwarf, go away. Grab and go. What do I drop? And we are out of here. More building. With all these new drops, time to get our forge up and running. Let's drop the forge here so we can repair or recycle all our bronze armor and weapons when needed. Looks good in front of the fireplace, don't you think? Quick tip, when you're there, always repair, meaning repair your items every time you go home. Over to the kitchen area. To start, just a bit of layout framing so we know how much space we need. Again. Fermenter on the left, we'll put our cooking stations in the back for smoke ventilation, and then storage on the right. Let's save room for a cauldron and 10 meat cooking stations in the back. Now these rows will give us our outlines. And we'll need to find some bronze 
and some tin to make our fermenter and cauldron. Now if you look closely, it almost looks like some of the queue lines in those fancy amusement parks. Order up. On the right, same storage setup as our wall. We can go two wide and three high, giving us six containers for food crafting items. This is a good start, but in the future we will need to add more storage as the number of different food crafting items we acquire expands, along with the number of food items we can craft. I'm just imagining all those amazing foods we'll make in this extremely small yet functional kitchen. Oof, need a little step. Looks great. We'll even throw a few storage containers under the fermenter for potions and meads. Maybe even extra cooked foods. And then frame around everything, making it look nice and clean. Beautiful. Let's also add a chest next to the front door for seeds and farming, making it easier to grab gear before we head out to the fields we have yet to plow. How about a new bedroom for this weary woodworker? There is a lot we'll need for comfort, but let's focus on the bed first. We'll put our bed on a raised platform so we can add more storage because why not? More storage. Arr, arr, arr. Framing out the platform is fairly straightforward. Just some beams and flooring. And we'll drop the bed to the far right. Since we're being fancy, let's add a headboard for accent. We can fit at least four containers under the bed and one more at the foot of the bed, giving this a more regal atmosphere. done for now. Oh, just need to close this in. Back to the kitchen. In your build menu, go under crafting, pick our cauldron and put it on the center campfire. OCD says need to rotate to make it straight. Next, set our meat cooking stations. Five on each side. I like to do this so I can cook at least half a stack of meat per run. If you put down the center one first and then do the outside ones, it's easier to place the second and fourth stations. Now, repeat on the other campfire. Put up our fermenter. And 
and we are done after this side panel. Off to battle. Need food prep items so we can test out our new kitchen. Another jogger bully. We got this. A few swipes of my sword. Oh, he hits hard. Incoming second jogger. Serpentine movement. Serpentine. Hide behind the tree. And gotcha. What is with all these bowmen? Just need to stay vigilant and watch the patterns. Block, hit, hit, hit. Block, hit, hit. Block. Block. No stamina. Ah, oh, block. Serpentine. Serpentine. Serpent. Wah, wah, wah. Body is close. Get our stuff back. Time to finish this guy. Eat up. Armor up. Rush in. A few more smacks. Oh, he's poison infused. Let's get him with our spear. Well, that didn't do it. Around the tree for the win. All right, too scary. More building time. Let's level up our workbench by adding a chopping block and a tanning rack. We can squeeze the tanning rack in the side here. Also, we can level up our forge by adding anvils and a forge cooler. Since we're here, let's also add an enchanter so we can finally sacrifice those epic loot drops for some magical materials. And a quick jaunt outside, place the adze on the back wall to get our workbench to level 4. We can upgrade our comfort level in our bedroom by putting down a deer hide rug, putting up some banners, I personally like blue. And finally, placing a table and chair to get our comfort to 10.
We can even add some light so it's not as dark at night. Out front, we'll level the land around our gate to make it easier to get in and out of our base. And the battle hymn calls. Prepare your armies for Odin. I see you villainous blob of doom. Come hither. You are no match for my hammer of fire. Okay, you are quick. And your poison seems to be killing me faster than I thought. But I shall soldier on. Uh, never mind. Run away. Too late. That didn't go as expected. Grab my stuff real quick and look for my revenge. I see dead people or just my own dead body. Here he comes. Need to stay agile. Haha, -ha, blocked by the log. You, sir, have been mistreated. Is there no one who dares stand against me? Over here, maybe. Come here, Frosty the Blob. You shall meet my hammer. I'm having a party, and you're getting smashed today. Don't drink in slime. That was fun, but more building. Let's beautify my woodshed. A few raspberry bushes to farm and add some color. Along with a glowing mushroom border for accent. Some blueberry bushes for contrast.
and a few thistles to highlight the doorway. And just for fun, let's make my furnace look like a mushroom by putting a kiln on top of it. Need to turn it so the coal falls to the side where the coal slot on the furnace is located. Quick update to the kitchen. Seems like we could use that extra storage now. How about a storage arch above the entryway to the kitchen? That seems fancy, right? I'm sure we can fit in at least four to six more storage containers. Just need to figure out how to engineer this. There's one. Ladder's always in the way. And then I build more ladders. Not enough space for a container. How about we bridge? Cross and add some above the fermenter too. Clean this up a little bit while we're here. I know I can fit a few up here, just need to get the boards placed. Ugh, getting smoked out back here. More ladders. Alright, need to fix this smokestack issue. rid of this stuff. And add an extra level up here for the smoke to escape. And we should be good. Now, to make it look pretty.
Look, no more smoke build up in the kitchen. Need to block off just above the fires to keep the smoke contained behind the firewall. beam in for decoration. And a straight beam is too plain. You can add a few of these 26 degree cross beams for show. Now, a few beams coming from the back walls to keep the meats from falling down in the fires. And then a beam across the back walls to push the meats out to the front, making it easier to retrieve them after they have cooked. Finally, let's finish adding those extra containers to the kitchen archway. Two more here. A few side panels. And voila! A great looking woodshed, if I do say so myself. And that wraps up another Darkheim playthrough. As always, thank you for stopping by the woodshed. You are the heartwood of this channel. If you have questions or comments, wedge them down in the comments section. If you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button to show your support. If you enjoyed this video, consider hammering that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos. For more content, check out the links in the description area to see where else you can find me living that building life. This is Woodworking Gamer from The Woodshed, wishing you the best in all you do. Thank you, and take care.